What's up, folks? It's Matt for Three Pound Fish, and I'm back, and I've got a special series we're gonna do, okay? Let's get this fixed up right there. We're gonna do two episodes in a row. We're gonna be talking about fish attractors. Now, I've got this question a thousand times during my guide trips. I've got questions, I mean, a lot of emails about what is the best fish attractor? Well, I've got special guests here today, and they're from American Fish Tree, Matt and Paul Marsden. And we're gonna help answer a lot of questions about fish attractors. We're gonna go through them all. Folks, I've done them all. And uh, today, we're gonna put big fish in the boat. I'm gonna get you some imaging on live scope, just like you like it, crisp, clean. But at the same time, we're gonna talk about fish attractors. What you should be looking at doing, perhaps, during this winter time when we're, we're off the, we're, we're taking a break, something to prepare yourself for the rest of the season next year. And I think you're gonna be surprised, and I think you're gonna really love what you see. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. It's a beautiful, foggy morning. Let's get this done. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. So I kind of wanted to give everybody kind of an idea of some of the fish attractors that I have done. Man, it's not as, as straight as I want. You know, I've done, you know, cut down the limb, drag it out. I've done the PVC, you know, one inch, throw it into the cinder block. I'm, I'll show some footage of that, of course. Um, I've done bamboo. Uh, bamboo is fantastic. I did that one year, got that off an old property and stubbed it, stuffed it into a cinder block. But you know, today in today's day and age, you know, that takes time, takes energy, and it still takes money to do it. There's a lot of artificial fish trees out there, and Three Pound Fishing has kind of partnered up with American Fish Tree, and because their products are so superior, it just made sense. These guys have an incredible product that is basically drop it, forget it, it lasts forever. And when we say that, we mean it. All right, folks, I wanna welcome Matt and Paul to the area. First time they've ever been here, but we're gonna get educated on these American Fish Tree Attractors today. We're gonna to learn a lot about that, and we're gonna learn about what makes them special, and that's the important thing. Matt was kind enough to go through all the little details as, as to what does make an American fish tree special. And I can't wait to share that with you today. So please, if you like this type of content, subscribe. We're about to put some big fish in the boat, but we're also going to get educated on fish attractors. There we go. There's our first keeper for... Right in the bone of the top of the mouth. Got him, man. He wanted it. Sure did. Party. Let some lucky guy catch him again. So do me a favor, Matt. Tell me a little bit. I noticed you brought something in the boat. So let's let's share that with the fine folks at home. Come on down here. This is our uh, branch bar. It's uh, 80 mils of solid PVC. Wow. And what, it just gives a lot of shade, a lot of cover. So we got surface area for the aquatic growth. But most important, it's, it's, it's the canopy of shade. It's, it's basically a six inch bar that's folded here in the middle as a little channel. And it, it really doesn't matter either way, but most people like to hold it, you know, put it in that orientation. It accumulates a lot more sediment and growth over time. But, uh, so definitely one of the things I talk about at the guide trips is I, I love the fact that it's wide. Just to kind of give you a perspective of how wide it is, your standard buoy, literally you can fit that buoy inside cool. that. You see how that? Yeah. I've so that kind of gives you a, that, that gives yeah. you a perspective of how wide that is, and there's nothing else out there like that. I've, I've seen the competitors. I've all right, before we get into the details of an American fish tree, let's talk about how you assemble it. Simply, the branches or bars get put into the main body, and that's pretty much it. And folks, let me tell you, I've put a lot of these together, and it's five minutes, and it's done. And you can orientate it any way you want to once you drop it. But basically, at the end of the day, once you drop it, forget it. It lasts forever. That is the slogan for American fish tree. And uh, it's just simple. As you can see here, very simple. I've seen, I've built so many yeah. fish attractors. This is one of the unique features about it. I love it. Yeah, and um, it's it's foolproof. You know, it'll, you just squeeze it, put it in the in the notch, and it's there for a hundred plus years. The way I designed it was, you know, not to spend the whole weekend building one. You know, just 
10 minutes or less, you can put it together. And, and even in this winter time, when the water drops down in some lakes, you can actually take them apart. There you go. Boom, there it is. We're gonna get to see exactly what these were. <laughs> Good fish. Bam. <laughs> Good. That's a solid eater right there on Egypt, yeah. man. That's awesome. We followed that school. Yeah. That is your that is your your winter following the school scenario on Egypt, and it is so fun and exciting. So it's essentially, what you would do is you would you'd follow, knowing that that school they always stay together. They're pretty much all going to be this yeah, size. Yeah, so if you get one that's 14 inches or 15 inches, you know you have a school, and you will follow that school around. <laughs> you ain't leaving that school, right? But you know. So nice Egypt eater right there. Good fish. So today we got, basically today we've got, what, what is it gonna be? 50 degrees, 49, 40, high, yeah, high, high of 40s. Water temperature is 53 degrees. And we're out here in the main lake fishing small structures, but also hopefully we're gonna find some more schools like that. Bigger schools, but at the end of the day, that's a lot of fun. Good fish? It is a good fish. Look at these guys, man. Them out. Sweet. So talk, talk to the fine folks about um, longevity of the product. You mentioned it, that it lasts forever. With PVC, no one's ever rated it for water. It's all rated on landfill, you know, acids in soil. And I've dropped some PVC pipe. I've dropped bamboo natural structure, and I have definitely see, seen them deteriorate oh, over yeah. time. It's, it, it goes, so you do a lot of work and then all of a sudden it's, it, it disappears after five or six years. So. The, uh, you know, band, band that mine's the only one with 100% 100, 100 PVC, you know, there's no blended plastics or uh, blended pulp. You know, it's just a solid extrusion of, of PVC. So yeah. yours is the only one on the market that, that does that? It's solid extrusion. I made this hair jig last night. <laughs> Two-tone with a blue head. I kind of dreamed that up last night. Good fish. My man Paul putting a hammer in. Look at that. Good fish, man. That's solid. Good thick back. It's such a contrast from yesterday. Yesterday was like 15, 20 mile an hour winds, and today it's like beautiful, sunny, clear skies. It could have truly sparked the bite. I mean, big time. <laughs> I was trying to get you down to the hood guys down here. Your dad saw that one coming. Live scope. You'll love it. Oh, this guy feels better. Yeah, he's a good fish. This is a good fish, folks. Shoulders. fish so i get asked a lot during my guide trips what is the best fish attractor honestly folks at this point i think an american fish tree has what it takes to get a lot of fish on the structure i think it is the best now i do think there are some definite fact definitely some factors that play into what makes a fish attractor successful location on a lake is going to be number one i found out over time that putting a fish attractor in a location that you know has some fish is always going to be very helpful. In other words, you can expand, build upon uh, spots that you already know have fish. And that's the great thing about these types of things. But 
What makes fish, American fish tree so special is that it has those wide branches and it definitely gives fish a place to hide. So I challenge you, get an American fish tree, try it out, get, put it to the test. I guarantee you folks, when you see how many the fish hide underneath these branches and the quality and the fact that it lasts forever, you will not be denied a great catch of the day. <laughs> Woo, baby. Yeah, you barely touched that. So pretty. Pretty fish. Good fish. So tell tell the fine folks, Matt, where they can purchase the American Fish Tree Attractors. On our website, uh, right now just on our website, AmericanFishTree.com. 423-802-7111. Uh, just give me a call or shoot me a text. Perfect. He's easy and accessible. So give him a holler. Check him out at AmericanFishTree.com. Is that Thank right? Yeah. 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 Perfect. All right. Awesome. So after we were done fishing, I took the guys around the lake, kind of going to show them, give them a feel of my home lake. And uh, I could tell that they really did enjoy it without a doubt. They enjoyed Southern Illinois, which I really do appreciate. One thing that we haven't talked about yet, we will talk about this in the next episode, is definitely the care in and the warranty of the particular product so um let me just tell you they stand behind their product 100 percent. and all you have to do is call matt and that guy will take care of you it's just a stand-up company stand-up owner and just a great product all around i'm so proud to be partnered up with american fish tree check them out americanfishtree.com give them a call thanks for watching Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.